Hey, welcome back to the Academic Society. It's Toy in here. Today I'm talking about presenting your research and how to prepare for it. Like what would be my top three tips for presenting your research? So if you're interested in that, keep watching this video. Let me introduce myself. I'm Toy in the founder of the Academic Society. I got my PhD in math. I got my dream job as a lecturer and I also make these videos for grad students and I also share my academic lifestyle here. So if you're new here, definitely consider consider subscribing. All right, so this video topic actually came from my Facebook group, which if you don't know, I have a Facebook group just for grad students, it's like a support and community group for grad students. And someone was preparing for her thesis defense and she asked if anyone had any last minute tips before she gave her presentation. And so I shared one tip that she really, really enjoyed. So I thought I'd share it with you. And then to round it out, I decided to give three tips to make a full video. All of these tips may not work for you. None of these tips could work for you. Maybe all of them do. Definitely take what you think will work for you and then leave the rest. That's what I always say. Everyone is different. Everyone's grad school experience is different. Everyone just is a different person. So these tips that I give you, Maybe they're helpful, they help me, and so that's why I'm sharing with sharing them with you. All right, so my first tip is to be confidently you. So be the most confident version of you as you can be. So I always talk about when I teach, I have a teaching persona. It's me, but it's not like me in my everyday life. And that's exactly how I present. Just like I'm talking on this video, I'm animated, I'm excited, I'm not being fake, but it's a little more confident version of who I am. So for example, when I'm talking about my research or just like talking in a regular casual setting, I might say, oh yeah, when I was in grad school, I um, studied how to visualize big data using statistical methods. That's fine. However, when I'm presenting my research, I say, hey, I'm Toy, and my research is all about um, the visualization of big data using statistical methods on economics and financial data, things like that. So I like make my personality shine through whatever your personality is. And the benefit of that is that it's engaging because you've all listened to research talks where after the first you know, 10 minutes of the definitions, you're like, okay, I'm kind of lost. But at least if the person is excited when they're talking, you can be a little more engaged throughout the whole process. My second tip is to present in front of your friends. So me and my friends, whenever we would go to conferences or present our research for even like our dissertation, we would actually get a classroom, go in there together and present our research to each other and have each other ask questions. And this helps just kind of get a feel of how you would sound in front of someone else because typically when you're practicing presenting, you're practicing alone. And so you may rush through some parts and you may find, actually, I think I need to pause here because people are looking confused. Or maybe I need to, people look like they really understand this so I can like blow past this information. Things like that. So I Always found it helpful and then also giving feedback to someone else who's presenting helps you when you're presenting and then my third and final tip which is the one I gave the grad student in my group and she really loved was so this is like last minute once the presentation is done once you've practiced go back in and think about what questions people could ask you for the different topics you talk about. And like write down, okay, I talked about this one topic, maybe someone can ask a question about this. Maybe it's related to this other thing. And like practice answering questions that people could ask you so you're not completely caught off guard when you get asked questions. And also practice answering a question that you don't know the answer to. It's totally fine not to know the answer to something in your presentation. Even when I gave my um, dissertation defense, I was asked a question. I did not know the answer. So here's the question. Something. So I did visualization of big data. Someone asked me about graph theory, which I had never taken a course in graph theory. I had never studied graph theory. And I was like, oh, that's a great question. If I were to continue this research, I would definitely learn more about graph theory because I know some, some of the principles and that would help me in the visualization of um, data. Um, I came from a statistical um, background comparing it or collaborating with someone who works in graph theory could be really helpful. So I did not know the answer to that, to that question, but I was able to say something that made sense. And you can always throw the question back at, out at the person like, oh, wow, that's so interesting. I feel like what you were asking could be related to this. What do you think about that? 
people just like to share ideas. Everyone in your presentation are academics. They want to learn. They want to contribute. So those are my three tips for presenting your research. Let me know what other tips you have in the comments so that they can help other grad students. Thank you so much for watching. I'll share some more videos probably here. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.